So if you already have Unity and Playmaker correctly installed, you may not need this video. But I'm going to go ahead and cover the installation of Unity, Playmaker, and actually the standard assets to show you a couple common snags that you might run into. So go to Unity.com. This is what the site looks like currently. And it may not be obvious what package you need if you do uh, get started. Uh, has all these nice, wonderful paid plans, but way up here in this little hidden tab, if you click individual, you want to do uh, the personal account. And it's going to ask you for things that you might be resistant in providing, but trust me, you're going to need that. Okay, this is the, what the site looks like here in 2021. Um, it has a panel to walk you through the process, but we already kind of know what we're going to go through. So we're just going to click this to get to the downloads. And you're going to accept the terms down the hub. The Unity Hub is the application that actually controls your your assets and loading new versions of Unity and your projects, keeping those all square. So you're going to just go and click download and then install that. And there's going to be tons of stuff to uh, click off and check off. Um, just go and keep things default for now. And I think if you just go through by hitting next, 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 it'll pull in everything you need to build your project. And those modular pieces in the install process will still be available to add later. And there'll be a, there'll be a second concurrent download in the process that is going at the same time. It's the Microsoft.NET framework and the documentation for an editor, we probably won't touch a whole bunch. It's called VS Code, but when errors popped up, uh, you can actually edit the source code and we'll be using it to demonstrate an error state at the end of this video. And once you get the loader painful load weight bar, go ahead and get up, walk around, have a snack, have a drink, whatever. It's going to take a while. Okay, one super important, this is probably the most important thing of this video, is uh, Unity does not play well with a VPN. Uh, if you're using like Nord or another um, VPN, it will wreak havoc on your pro projects. It may not mess with the install, but saving and loading existing projects, it just can wreak havoc and not tell you exactly what the problem is. So once you're all set up, um, go ahead and disable VPN while you work on your Unity projects. Okay, once your install is complete, um, when you run Unity, you're, you're presented with this dashboard. Not a whole bunch going on here, but uh, you can see basically you can start a new project. It's going to ask where the folder is, and it's going to ask, you don't see it very, it's very subtle, what version of Unity you want to build this project in. Okay, so this is basically the same thing that we saw before, except this is my hub, and I have a lot more versions of Unity installed. And if you go to install, these are the software base versions of Unity itself. You can actually pull in an older version of Unity, or even a more recent beta version to build your projects around. This is handy if you're working on a legacy project that only has features that were available in that older version. But I'm going to go ahead and back, go back to creating a new project. I'm going to select um, my latest version of Unity that I have installed. When you create a new project here, it's going to create another folder inside this parent folder. Okay, let's go ahead and start to add some assets from the asset store into our blank scene. So up top here, go to Window, Asset Store. It's going to pull up a web browser. Um, if it asks you to log in, go ahead and log in with a new account you made. And go ahead and type standard, if you can spell, assets. And if you go down, you're going to click this package. The standard assets pack is great. It has a ton of stuff just for, for getting started and prototyping and developing with. And we're going to be using it a lot. So what you might see here is a download button. Go ahead and click that. And then once that download's complete, it's going to say, would you like to see your inventory? And if you click to 
you will see it somewhere in your inventory list, something like this. So if we go to back to our project and we go to Window, Package Manager, and drop this down to In Project. Right now that means what's currently in our project, which is nothing. And I'm going to look in My Assets, which is everything I've purchased or downloaded for free. So I'm going to type Standard Assets. There it is. I'm going to click that. And normally this will be a button that says download. Right now I already have this on my hard drive, so it's just asking to import it. So you click download. It'll take about 30 seconds and you'll see the download going along. And once the download is finished, you'll see a button that says import. Look just like this. Once you click that, it'll pop up with a giant array of all the contents that are in this package. Okay, and now these are all the contents that were within the standard assets package. And if you wanted to go through this stuff, like there's a giant house or something that you don't need, you can deselect it. Right now, I'm just going to go and import everything. Okay, now, now our standard assets are installed. You'll see it didn't add anything to our game stage. It just added us to our project folder. Now, if you go to standard assets, there it is. Now, if you were just to click the run button, It'll complain. All compile errors are fixed, must blah, 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 before you play. If you go down here, here's a problem. Uh, and if you click this line, it shows you a whole bunch of problems. Now, the yellow things, or it's missing things here and there. We're not going to be using the runway, this aircraft project, so we don't really care about that yet. But here, it says uh, GUI text has been removed. Okay, what is that? Right? So I Google this. I couldn't find what the problem was. Hit clear. So trying to run the project again. It's this error. I had no idea how to fix this. So if you double click it, you're going to pull up the, the Microsoft Visual Studio Code uh, editor that I mentioned earlier. So if you click it, this is the one gotcha that I, I have to fix every time. So please leave a, a, a comment or email me if you know if I'm doing something wrong. But if you to fix this, you double click this. And this is our VS Code editor. And the cryptic message here is GUI text is obsolete. OK, it's a pain. But in a nutshell, what you have to do is to fix those errors is add this line which does not exist, and rename this declaration from GUI text just to text, and you're done. Otherwise, it's really hard to Google this and figure out what's going on. We're all set here. Now we just need to install Playmaker. OK, just how we added the standard assets package, we're going to add Playmaker. So there's a couple ways to do that. If you type in Playmaker, you can just buy it right here. And you actually pay for it instead of downloading it for free. Buy now. Now, Playmaker itself, the manufacturer is Hotung Games. And you can buy it directly here, but they also have a student discount. And it's half price. Full price, I think, is 65 bucks, And the student version is $32. And I think you can do everything, except you can't sell commercial games with it. But anyway, so you can purchase it just like this. You buy now. You get a, a key. And then it'll let you install from here. But I got the student version, so they sent me an email for a download. So what I have now is a simple zip file with the Playmaker contents that I have on my file system. OK, so this is the project folder that we just created for our new Unity project. I copied the downloaded Unity Playmaker uh, file that I had into the top folder. And while your project is open, 
you can just double click this file and it will install the Playmaker assets into the open file. We just do import. And it's important to note that it is not installing Playmaker yet. It's installing the installer. Okay, and then this thing pops up and you're going to click the install Playmaker button. I don't want to see this every time. So click install Playmaker. This pre-check is handy in case you're installing Playmaker on top of a massive Unity project that you already have in place because it might break stuff if you have custom scripts. We do not because this project is blank. So I'm just going to go ahead and click Install Playmaker. Yes. Now these are all the scripts ready to install and this should be the last button press we need to do for Playmaker. Just go to Playmaker Editor and drag this tab down next to Project Console. We'll be referring back and forth to these two tabs a lot, so it's handy to have them in this position. And there's one last thing I want to do before we leave this, this tutorial for setup is the Playmaker ecosystem. What, what that basically is, is uh oh, my Amazon Echo went off. That basically is, it goes to the the download world of the Playmaker development group, and you can download plugins just for Playmaker. Um, so what we want to do real quick is go to the web. I'm going to go back to Haotong Games, and we go to Wiki, and you type in ecosystem. Click that, and then we download that package and go back to my project and I pull up a folder that of the ecosystem package I just downloaded double click it import okay now if we go to Playmaker we want to find special Playmaker functions that might control the camera go to Playmaker add-ons ecosystem ecosystem browser Ecosystem Browser is an online tool, so we'll click Use Ecosystem. Let's just type Camera. And these are all the things that you can get and download. We will be downloading things for AI that do AI following mesh in this tutorial, but uh, we will get to that later. Okay, and make sure that we save our project so we don't lose all of the settings. Okay, hope this helps and I will see you in the next one.